Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial on how to create a graphic avatar using the initials of a first and last name. In this tutorial, we will be using JavaScript and the HTML canvas to draw a circular avatar with a randomly generated background color and text color. First, let's start by setting up the HTML for our avatar. We will need a canvas element with an ID that we can use to reference in our JavaScript code. So to create the canvas, we have to first create an element for it and then let's set its ID which is going to be avatar canvas. Now let's add a script element and start writing our function to generate the avatar. So let's call this function as create avatar and we also have to write function before it because it's a function now the first thing that we have to do is to provide some arguments for this create avatar function which are going to be the first name the last name and the canvas id so we will be using the initials of first name and last name in our circular canvas based avatar Inside this function, first let's get the canvas reference. So canvas equals to document dot get element by ID, and then we will use the canvas ID, which is being provided as an argument over here. Next, we need to get the reference of the canvas context. So let's call it CTX. So CTX equals to canvas dot get context, and this is going to be the 2D context. Now we need to set the avatar dimensions. So let avatar size equals to 200. And let's also set the font size for the text. So font size can be half of the avatar size so that we can be sure that the font can be contained within the avatar dimensions. So avatar size divided by two is going to be the font size. After this, we can set the canvas width and height. So canvas dot width equals to avatar size height is also going to be the avatar size because it is going to be a square shaped canvas and inside it we are going to draw a circle. So width and height is going to be equal to avatar size. Next we need to generate random background color and for that we have to do some randomization. So how we are going to do it is we are going to fetch a random number between the set of colors which can be represented by RGB colors converted to a hexadecimal value and the way to get it is this first we need to add the pound symbol to this color value and then we have to write math.floor and then math.random multiplied by the max value or the range for the RGB colors, which is this one 167215. And then we have to convert it to a string value like this. And then we have to pass in 16 because we want the hexadecimal value. Next, to get the font color or the text color, we need to first find out what is the luminance of this background color. So if the luminance of the background color is on the lighter side we need a darker text color and if the luminance is on the darker side then we need a lighter text color so to calculate the luminance of the background color we are going to use a formula so let's first create a function to calculate the luminance and we are going to pass in the color as an argument over here the first thing that we will do is we will fetch the rgb array from this color and for that we will create another function i will show you how so color to rgb array is going to be the function so let's pass in this color as an argument to this function as well to calculate the luminance we are going to use this formula i'm just going to copy it and then i will be replacing the rgb values with the values from this color array so return this value but for red we are going to use the first element from the color array for green we are going to use the second array item and for blue we are going to use the third array item 
and that is pretty much everything we need to do to get the luminance now for this color to rgb array function we are going to create a new canvas and then we are going to get the color array from this background color so let's do that we need to provide color as an argument the first thing that i will do is i will create a new canvas like this document dot create element the element is going to be canvas next we are going to fetch the context of this canvas so context equals to cvs dot get context and the context is going to be the 2d context next we have to set the context fill style value with this color and then we have to call context dot fill rect to fill this context with this color so we have to provide the x y and width and height finally we can get the data the image data from this context to get the rgb values in the form of an array so this can be done by calling context dot get image data and then we have to provide the coordinates which are going to be similar to the rectangle that we filled and then we have to get the return values data and then finally we can return data dot slice we have to return the first three items so for that i'm going to provide zero and three as arguments all right with all of this now let's get back to the main function to generate the avatar canvas where we have to compute the text color now we will find out about the text color based on the luminance of the background color so let text color equals to luminance bg color if the luminance is more than 0.5 then we are going to use black as the text color otherwise we are going to use white as the text color next we have to draw the background circle for our avatar text and for that we are going to use context.arc function so ctx dot begin path and then ctx dot arc now for x and y values we have to provide avatar size divided by 2 and this value is going to be used for y as well for start angle for end angle we are going to use 0 and for the counterclockwise argument we are going to use 2 multiplied by math dot pi this is going to draw a circle and then we are going to fill this circle with the background color so ctx dot fill style equals to bg color and then finally we need to call ctx dot fill after drawing the background circle we have to draw the text but before that we have to set the text properties so ctx dot font equals to font size which we computed earlier plus this is going to be in px and then the font name is going to be Arial. Next, we have to set the alignment for this text. So ctx dot text align is going to be center, and ctx dot text baseline for the vertical alignment it's going to be middle. Finally, we can set the fill style. For our text color so ctx dot fill style equals to text color so we are almost done now we just have to get the initials from first name and last name so let initials equals to first name dot character at zeroth index plus last name dot character at zeroth index and finally we can call ctx.fill text 
and then we can provide the initials as an argument and then we have to provide the x and y coordinates where we want to print the text so for that we are going to use avatar size divided by 2 for both x and y so our function to create the avatar has been done and now it's time to call this function so what i'm going to do is i'm going to call create avatar with some dummy first name and last name so john and then do and then we have to provide the canvas id so avatar canvas is the id now let's find out if this code is working or not so this is our web page and right now we cannot see anything over here so it says canvas.getContext is not a function all right so there is an issue over here it's a typo let's fix it and now let's find out so it looks like that the background and the text color are correct but the text font is not correct let's see in the code this is the font size actually it should be font not font size now let's check again okay now it looks like our code is working and that is how you can create an avatar image with a random background color for the user's first name and last name initials in the absence of user's profile picture let me know what you think about this code and i just hope that you have learned something from this video i will see you in the next one